Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to have a play with consistencies or runniness of um, of my paints. And uh, what's what I've noticed is that a lot of the people that are posting comments in my videos and on my Facebook um, acrylic pouring for fun group they're all um not over one but a lot of people are like it looked really good when i first poured it i got lots of cells and then it went all to mush when it dried and i've never had that problem <laughs> so i'm gonna try and recreate the problem now, one of the things that I have noticed is that in some of the videos I've watched, which some of you may have got your consistencies from, they do use runnier paint than I do. So I'm going to have a play with how runny it is and see if that creates something different. So what I'm going to do... I've got three cups for each of these three panels. They're just bits of cardboard. Um, and my cardboard dries okay, so I'm happy with that, just for this test. Actually, when I say that, what's dropped into my head. Are you willing to follow your awareness, guys? Are you willing to change your plans if your awareness tells you to? What I just had pop into my awareness was if I taped these bits of cardboard down... We're not going to have them all run off all over the place. So let's tape them onto this bit of, bit of wood covered in plastic that I have for many of my experiments. Where's my masking tape? What a mess. How does it get any better? Did you know that tape and rubber gloves are not friends? Or maybe they're lovers and they don't like letting go of each other. I'm not sure which way around. But they don't want to listen to me when I come around and they're interacting with each other. The door. Never gonna let you go now. Yeah, baby. Ah, see? Look at this. Mm. <laughs> okay. So, there we have our three panels all sectioned off. So I'm going to move that out of the way for now while we mix up our paints. So I've got my three primary colours, they're not really primary versions of them, but they're crimson red from Renault Art, deep yellow from Reeves, and cobalt blue from Reeves. And they're quite thick at the moment. I mix my paints up tube at a time. Let's see if I can show you how thick that is. Blub, 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 blub. It's quite thick, so normally I would water that down before using it. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put, and none of these have got silicon in them yet, okay? So this is the cool thing, because I can mix them to their consistency, put a little bit of silicon in each, and then we're going to do a flip cup and see what gets created. So... Uh, I'm going to put paint in each of these. Three of each colour. And then the first one I'm going to leave alone. And then I'm going to add enough water to make that one as runny as I like it and then that one I'm going to make runnier 
to the consistency I think I've seen some of you using or some of the other YouTubers using. So I'm going to do that the same for all three colours and then we'll see if the runniness is the problem or the root. Yeah, because I don't get anywhere near as many cells as some of the people that um, do. Um, when I was watching one of the girls who's new on the acrylic pouring for fun video, and she she shared a video which was very cool, and um, she got like heaps of cells with no torching, and uh, but her paint was thinner than mine so let's see what gets created what the difference is if there is any Ugh. all right so one of each for the thick and I've broken up some sticks to mix with roughly putting about the same amount of water in each to start with so that um, I know that I'm adding more That looks great. So now add a bit more. Make it even runnier. Because the other thing that I've noticed some of you saying is I that you get a lot of mixing of colours and end up with a brown mess instead of the vibrant colours that now that's much runnier. Okay, let's see. Let's tilt that so you can see our consistency. So here's the what I normally have. Oops, it's out of shot, sorry. No, that's actually not how I normally have it. That's funny. Okay. A little bit, still a little bit thick. There we go. That's how I would normally have it. Now they're about the same. <laughs> And that's a lot runnier. See how it breaks up really quickly at the end? When you're mixing anything, so resin, paint, anything, make sure you scrape your edge. Ah! Well, that wasn't a good idea. I used to think when I used to drink shots that it was the alcohol that made me drop them. Maybe it was just the size of the glass. <laughs> Maybe I'm just clumsy when I'm holding tiny little inty winty cute little glasses. Let's try that again. Always scrape the sides, I was saying. Why do you always scrape the sides? Because then you've got a consistentness throughout the whole thing. And if you don't scrape the sides when you're mixing, but then you scrape the sides 
when you're pouring it out, you're going to get uneven. This yellow is always really weird. Blub, blub, blub. It looks and feels when you're stirring it like it's runnier than the other colors. But then when you try and pour it, it does that. Anyway, as long as one's runnier than the other, I don't really mind. so little paint I'm actually only going to do um, a liquid fit cup each now we do need some silicon and what I might do is only put silicon in one so it's just going to be one drip of silicon in each of the pinks one One and one. Stir. Stir. And stir. Okay, let's get you, get you going, have a little bit more light, there we go. So I'm going to do these exactly the same as each other, so that hopefully the only variation in them is the, um, the thickness. So, I probably should have just left that in there, but I didn't. So as you can see, this one is thick, 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 thick. It's kind of blobbing. Alright, so then we're going to do the same on this one. This is... Roughly about my normal strength. So we've got the yellow. We've got the crimson. See how the crimson actually sunk down into the yellow that time, whereas it didn't in the previous one. And the blue, and that's done the same. So you, you can see immediately a difference in what's happening here. Now... These are the runny ones. I'm not sure there's that much difference actually, to be honest. Except that one's got more paint. But if you look at this, you can see it layered, whereas on the other two, there is no layering. They have mixed. The yellow is on the outside. Now I'm going to have to try and do a wrist flip on these. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. How's that? I did pretty good, I reckon. One. Ooh, blob.
All right. So I'm just going to let them sit there for a minute. Turn the edges up on that a little bit so it doesn't run off the side. That one's not going to run off the side, even if I tried it. I think. <laughs> so the thicker, really, you're not getting any mixing in there at all. I'm going to get my heat gun out. See if anything happens. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten off. There we go. Okay, so just a, a, a piece of information right now as I zoom you in on each of these so you can see what they look like um, I could do the same paint same quantities dropped into the cup from the same height and they would all be different so there is always going to be a difference And now I'm going to tilt. And then I'm going to torch again, just to put one once over each direction. So, before it's dried, here's our results. So you've got pretty much nada. There is nothing come out of that silicon, hardly anything at all. There's some tiny, tiny little cells on the edge there. But really, the paint is so thick, the silicon can't get out. My normal consistency, pretty much my normal results. <laughs> some yummy looking cells, some little ones, some big ones. Some mixing of colours. And then the runnier one. Look how much mixing of colours we've got in here. It's quite dark in there. We have got some separation. But we've got some nice cells too. So uh, the runnier it is, the easier it is for the silicon to get up and out of the paint and push the paint aside. Um... So now I'm going to leave these to dry and come back and we'll see how they've dried and what they've done. Okay, so what I realised was there wasn't actually a huge difference between the runniness of the 
normal and what I can call the runny one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the runny ones and add a few more drops of water into each and make a super runny. Um, and do a super runny one. Just to give you an even more information. Now, if you've watched my channel before, you'll know that I've done a video on mixing your silicon in too much. So what that's going to do with regards to this silicon, I'm not sure. But we'll try it anyway. I'm just going to put it straight into the yellow cup. Save making even more mess. Okay, so a bit of right on this one. Super runny. One, two, three, and flip, and flip, and then come back, and, ooh, I like that purple. <laughs> I do like this purple. Oops, I torched it first, didn't I? Look at all those cells. Okay, so the runnier, the easier it is for the silicon to get out. And also, the easier it is to distort. Okay, so I'll put that one over there with the others, and um, I'll get you down first, hold on. So I actually like this one the best in this 10 seconds, like look how many cells it is. Got some really yummy colour blendings to make that yummy purple, but there are still some separate colours to give a definition. So I quite like this. Um... And we'll see how it dries. Just wanted to show you this. This is what was left in the cups. I watered them all down to the same consistency, tipped them all into one big cup, and poured it out. And I got this. How's it getting any better? <laughs> I should have videoed this. This is a cool painting. <laughs> but I didn't. But I thought I'd share it with you anyway. Okay. So, here we have the four tests. Um, the thick one really did nothing. This is what I would have considered my normal consistency. Um, let's just see if we can get this. <laughs> it's so bright it, out here. Let me... Come on. And then this is the, the runnier version. And this is the super runny version. So pretty much my awareness is the runnier, the easier the cells show up, but also the more merging of the colours. So it really does depend on what um, what you're after really but they're really thick I wouldn't bother <laughs> this is why we water it down guys this is this is what would happen if it was um, yeah just left pretty much as it is when it comes out the bottle so I hope that's given you a little bit of clarity about what you are looking to create. Um, I'd say the runnier it is, 
the more likely it is to run off if it's not flat and perfectly shaped. Uh, definitely be very aware of that. Um, and this is the one that I showed you that I had um, oops, sorry, fiddled with afterwards. I didn't show you how I poured it, but this was the, the leftovers from my experiment. So that's dried quite nicely. I, I'm not a big fan of that deep yellow. I had a large quantity of it um, at a very cheap price and it doesn't really do it for me to be honest so I'm not planning on buying a lot more of it but what I do want to show you on this this is actually gives it as a good example of what I was talking about about it running off this was quite runny and I haven't got a good coverage on the edges because it's kind of just see how it, it was covered as normal like how I normally would cover and it's just dripped off it's disappeared it's um, lost it so yeah there's there's definitely pros and cons of the runny compared to the thicker and it's really what what do you like what result are you after um, I know that I've seen quite a few people on YouTube who have done quite runny pours and then you know that that edge thing happens and the sides become almost transparent because they've um, you know all the paints just run off so choose for you guys what what are you looking to create how what results do you are you after and um, mix your paints accordingly it's up to you They're, it's your paintings it's your art and how much fun can you have doing it so i hope this has been a contribution to some of you and what else is possible have fun guys i adore you bye bye